We will begin the press conference by Foreign Minister Kamikawa. Please go ahead, Minister. Thank you. I have three items at the top. First of all, on the Japan chair for a world without nuclear weapons. Last year in September, in the address to the United Nations General Assembly, Prime Minister Kishida declared the establishment of the Japan chair for a world without nuclear weapons. We had conducted coordination with research institutes and think tanks based in the United States, Europe, and Asia, and decided to establish the Japan chair at the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace, Vienna Center for Disarmament and Nonproliferation, and the International Institute for Strategic Studies, IISS Asia. We will contribute 3 billion yen as we decide to establish the Japan chair at those three institutes. With the international security situation becoming ever more difficult, the path to a world without nuclear weapons is becoming rougher. We must go beyond the dichotomic debate of deterrence or either deterrence or disarmament that is conducted in academia or in practice. And in order to be more practical and realistic, multi-layered approach with government and other relevant parties involved is necessary. Through the establishment of the Japan Chair, we will promote the organization and participations to relevant conferences in the subject and communicate our position on this issue. Next, the second item is with regards to the visit to Japan by Director General Grossi of IAEA. From the 12th to the 14th of March, DG Grossi of IAEA will pay a working visit to Japan on the invitation of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Japan. This will be the first time for him to visit Japan since his visit last year in July for the exchange of the IAEA comprehensive report. Approximately Half years have passed since the launch of the discharge of obstructed water to the sea. He will visit the site of uh, the discharge and confirm the situation. During his, vis his visit, Director General Grossi will visit Fukushima Prefecture, will conduct a tour of Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power station, and will engage an exchange of views with the local citizens. DJ Grossi is planning to have meetings with uh, relevant government officials. I also hope to have a meeting with him as well. Japan attaches importance to the activities of IAEA for nuclear non-proliferation and peaceful use of nuclear energy, since IAEA plays a very important role in these areas. Further, regarding discharge of obstructed water to the sea, through the reviews and monitoring, IAEA continues to be engaged as an independent third party. Through his visit, we hope that the relationship between Japan and the IAEA will be strengthened in diverse areas. I next is concerning the emergency ground aid to Gaza. In today's cabinet meeting, I commented that we will be providing emergency grant aid of 32 million U.S. dollars to Gaza. In October 7th last year, the cruel terrorist attacks by Hamas to Israel began. And as the war in Gaza is, has, is prolonged, daily many deaths and casualties, including children, women, and the elderly, have been seen. The local humanitarian situation cannot be ignored. Through this grant, through international organizations such as the WFP, WHO, and UNICEF, humanitarian aid will be provided so that the most necessary supplies, such as food and health, will be delivered to as many children and women as possible. We will continue to persistent, persistently and actively continue diplomatic efforts for the improvement of the humanitarian situation and for early settlement. As part of such diplomatic efforts from today to tomorrow, State Minister of Foreign Affairs Tsuji will be visiting Israel and Palestine to make further efforts. 
The person appointed to the chair will not only engage in the research of the area, but will also promote participation and organization of relevant meetings, communicate the outcome of these meetings, and will deepen the debate in this area. Thank you. Higuchi-san, I have a follow-up question. Can you give a concrete image? So one person will be appointed, and then how do you believe that the debate will be deepened? It's difficult for a general audience to understand or obtain the image. And then you mentioned that we have to overcome the dichotomic debate of deterrence or disarmament, and that was mentioned by the Prime Minister at uh, the UN General Assembly last year. But the situation is very difficult, and such debate is stagnating. In order to cause progress, what is the role to be played by the Japan chair? The details will be coordinated with each organization, and one person will be appointed to each organization, and we will work out the details with the expert so that outcome will be delivered. The international security environment is becoming ever more difficult and therefore the avenue to a world without nuclear weapons is becoming bumpier. And as I already mentioned, we have to overcome the dichotomy of either deterrence or disarmament. That's very important. So it's necessary that we engage in realistic and practical approach. So centering on these three organizations and cooperating with these organizations, it's necessary to take such approach. It's not just the government that has to make those actions. We should, in a sustainable manner, host these relevant meetings in relevant areas, and such multi-layered approach is very important. And the significance of such mission uh, is at the center, and we will be working out the details in the days and weeks to come. And as I said, expert will not engage only in research. Hosting conferences or participating in conferences is a very important activity. And that expert is expected to exercise leadership to deliver outcome. So that will be taken into consideration in considering the appointment and based upon the characteristic of that expert, we hope that outcome will be delivered. The next question, NHK Igarashi-san, please. Yeah, NHK Igarashi is my name. I would like to ask a question about the Middle East situation. So concerning Israel and 
I'm a ceasefire in the negotiations for the release of hostage. Uh, President Biden said that there should be agreement, and uh, as quickly as uh, next week, ceasefire will start. Israel has said that the condition will be releasing 60, uh, 40 uh, hostages and has agreed uh, for ceasefire of the six uh, weeks. However, it is still unclear. So what is uh, the view of the Japanese government and uh, the measures going forward? Now, first of all, concerning Rahafa in southern Gaza, there are many Palestinians who are evacuating in a very consolidated manner. And also, it is a very important location to uh, deliver the necessary humanitarian supplies. But in this area, there is the population is overpopulated. So if uh, that remains, then and if uh, full-fledged military operations begin before necessary measures to protect and evacuate uh, civilians can be done, and then there will be many uh, more victims. It will be a disaster, and it will be increasingly difficult to uh, provide humanitarian support. And uh, currently, concerning the hostage release and ceasefire, through the intermediary countries, uh, coordination to the limit is being done. And as Japan, in order to realize uh, these movements, we will be closely coordinating with the relevant uh, countries. There will be bilateral uh, efforts and also uh, diplomatic efforts as a part of the Sec uh, Security Council and G7 will also be conducted in order to enhance the environment. So Japan, we would like to secure the environment where humanitarian aid will be possible and uh, we would like to we hope that humanitarian ceasefire will be achieved as quickly as possible so that the hostages can be released and sustainable ceasefire will be realized. With this hope, uh, we will continue to demand that immediately from the humanitarian perspective uh, actions be taken. From today, as mentioned earlier on, uh, State Minister Tsuji will be visiting Israel and Palestine. So through such opportunities, we hope to continue uh, to stress the importance of protecting civilians and inclusive of Israel to all parties. We ask that uh, they comply with international law, inclusive of the international humanitarian action law, and uh, make it possible to create the environment uh, for hum the improvement of humanitarian situation as well as enabling humanitarian support. <laughs> Katsurada-san of Kyodo News, please go ahead. Katsurada of Kyodo News, my question is on sanctions against Russia. The other day, on the second anniversary of aggression by Russia, the G7 leaders released a statement on strengthening of uh, sanctions and additional sanctions to individuals and corporates of third countries. What's the plan of Japan? Japan time, February 25th, the G7 video summit was held. Prime Minister Kishida participated in the summit. And during that meeting, Prime Minister Kishida said that Japan will continue to act in cooperation with the G7 members. We have implemented stringent measures to date, and that Japan has decided to take additional measures as sanctions against Russia, including designation of Russian individuals and organizations. And currently, we are in the final stage of working out the details, and announcement will come shortly. Uh, next question is from, from Kanaya-san, Hokkaido Shimbun. Yeah, Arai from Hokkaido Shimbun. Now, I would like to ask about the PCB waste uh, from the military forces in Japan. So at the end of March, in West Japan, the treatment facility will be closed. And the concerning PCB waste in Okinawa, the Ministry of Defense has said that uh, the facility in Muroran in Hokkaido will be treating it in their place. The Ministry of Defense has uh, been treating this on behalf of the United States based on U.S. SOFA. However, in the explanation that Ministry of Environment has said on the 22nd, they said that they are uh, negotiating with the Ministry of Defense and Ministry of Foreign Affairs so that they, they will be brought back to the United States. What is MOFA's view? Now, concerning the explanatory session, I do understand that the Ministry of Environment has made such comments. The PCB waste 
that is generated from the U.S. military facilities and installations in Japan. Uh, concerning that, the Ministry of Environment and relevant uh, ministries are cooperating and they are considering various options and are discussing with the U.S. side. The explanation by the Ministry of Environment at the explanatory meeting to residents is based on the situation of the discussions between Japan and the U.S. governments. Next question, Arakawa-san, Sankei newspaper, please. Arakawa Sankei, thank you very much. My question is with regards to deliberations at the Diet and diplomacy. Currently, budget deliberation is underway for the next fiscal year, and you are participating in the budget committee. From the 5th to the 7th of February, all ministers, including the prime minister, participated in the question and answer session. 22 hours were spent in total, but there were only two questions, and you spent seven minutes. So 21 hours and 53 minutes, you were just sitting. You only received two questions, and you spent seven minutes uh, in response. There was a, a concentrated discussion on diplomacy and agriculture, and uh, you were featured, but you only received four questions. So if you had spent that time you were sitting there in meeting with uh, foreign officials or receiving courtesy calls by ambassadors or engaging in outreach or in diplomatic efforts, wouldn't that be more productive? I think it's inefficient. So it's a waste of the foreign minister having the foreign minister just sitting there in the diet. So that's my opinion. But frankly speaking, how do you deem this situation as the foreign minister of this nation? And what's in your mind as you sit there in the committee deliberations? <clears throat> Since being appointed, I have been working based upon my basic policy of listening to the voices of the people to be understood by the people and engaging in diplomacy supported by the people. Diplomacy will not be viable without the support of the people, and any diplomatic measures without the support will not be authentic diplomacy. That has been my vision. And at the same time, regarding the deliberations at the Diet, domestic issues are inseparable from foreign affairs. And as the foreign minister, as you mentioned, I may have very little time spent in response, but regardless of how many opportunities I am given to respond, I have been engaging in the parliament deliberations based upon my that common fundamental vision. So I will continue to work hard in the deliberations at the Diet. Your next question from Parliament Orient News, please. My question is about Gaza. In light of uh, your repeated condemnations of Hamas, the Council of Arab Ambassadors in Japan issued a statement uh, last week uh, calling on Japan to also condemn Israel's genocide and, uh, against the Palestinians. And Japan uh, is, calling, is calling for humanitarian, humanitarian help for the people of Gaza and also provided uh, financial aid, such as the one you mentioned, that are all very good and very appreciated. Uh, but uh, basically, Israel, uh, uh, Israel occupation forces invaded Gaza now. They are invaded kind of out of country and continues to destroy Gaza hospitals, schools, and kill the people. It seems that uh, you are taking a politically abstract position to avoid uh, making uh, Israel uh, angry. And this, uh, the effect of that is that helping Israeli occupation to continue their genocide. So Arab ambassadors ask why can Japan condemn Israel's genocide in Gaza? Thank you.
ever since October last year, ever since the terrorist attack uh, started from Hamas, I, in also in order to improve the humanitarian situation and also uh, achieve the early settlement of the situation, I, I have been looking at this from various perspectives and uh, have been making a lot of uh, diplomatic efforts. So as part of the Security Council country, in order to fulfill the responsibility, we have made the utmost uh, diplomatic efforts in order to have the uh, decisions 2712 and 2720 adopted. And concerning Israel, inclusive international humanitarian law, we are asking for the compliance with international laws. And as I mentioned earlier, and based on the Security Council resolution, we have been repeatedly appealing uh, to, for them to take faithful action. On January 26th, the ICJ's uh, provisional measures have been issued. And uh, concerning that as well, the foreign minister's uh, comment has been issued. And uh, this uh, order is legally binding, and I stress that this should be faithfully uh, uh, implemented. So, as I uh, mentioned, I do not think that what you are saying is uh, correct. And based on that, currently, as quickly as possible, we need to improve the humanitarian, humanitarian situation on site and also to ensure the environment where sustainable uh, humanitarian aid is possible. That is the up, utmost priority. So we need humanitarian ceasefire where uh, humanitarian aid is possible and also hostages can be released. This needs to be quickly realized and sustainable ceasefire, we hope, will be realized as well. And based on this, inclusive of Israel to all parties, we are asking that action be taken uh, immediately from the humanitarian perspective. And uh, State Minister Tsuji is visiting Israel and Palestine. And with that opportunity, we will continue to make a diplomatic efforts so that uh, the hostages will be immediately released and the, improved, and the humanitarian situation be improved. And the issue of uh, this situation be settled quickly. So we will continue our efforts. Matsuyama san of Asahi newspaper, uh, please go ahead. Matsuyama of Asahi newspaper, I have a question regarding domestic issues. Last year, LDP uh, faction funding issue uh, was unveiled, and the approval rate for the Kishida cabinet is the historical low. As a member of the cabinet, uh, what do you take, how do you interpret this situation? And at the same time, approval rate of the cabinet is low. And at the same time, there are uh, people of the general public who are saying you should become the next prime minister. And some polls suggest uh, such results. Uh, do you have any enthusiasm? How do you interpret those voices of the people? As a member of the cabinet, I am uh, doing my best. As a member of the cabinet and as the foreign minister and to serve my duties. Regarding the approval rate from the people of Japan, there are different views. I am aware that there are diverse views. The situation in and outside of Japan is extremely difficult. So uh, for each of those issues, we will do our best. And based upon that basic policy, I hope to well serve the role of the foreign minister of the Kishida cabinet. And I will inject my maximum efforts. Approximately 170 days have passed since I was appointed foreign minister. And the global environment is extremely tough. And I feel that every day. And in this context, I always think what needs to be done in order to secure the future of Japan and a better future for the next generation. And therefore, I'm devoting myself and my I am concentrating on the duties as the foreign minister. Uh, this will be the end of the press conference. Thank you.